What's going on everyone, it's your average consumer, and today I've got an unboxing for you guys of one of Sennheiser's newly released headphones. These are the Sennheiser Urbanites. Now these are made to compete directly with the Beats Solo HD Solo 2 line. So hey, let's not waste any time, let's get right into it. <laughs> And all right guys, here we have the Sennheiser Urbanite. Now these are on-ear headphones and they retail for $200. So like I said, they're like direct competitors of things like the Beats Solo 2s, uh, Beats Solo HDs, probably even Vmoda XS. So things in that category, on-ear headphones, these are supposed to compete with it. These are supposed to have lots of bass. So I'm looking forward to that. So lots of bass and Sennheiser's great sound quality that they're known for. So I'm very, very interested. So let me just give you guys a quick tour around the box. Up front, you can actually see a picture of it. I have the black version. And you can see it has a, a remote for the iPod, iPhone, all Apple devices. Comes with a two-year warranty. If you look to the side, it shows you the smart remote with a mic. So this is where you can use the controls, the inline remote for all the controls and stuff. It also shows you what it gets inside of what you get inside of the box. So that's listed here. And uh, in the back here, you can see the headphones again. And it gives you some uh, some little tidbits about the headphones, little things, little features. And to the side, more headphones. But okay, enough box tour. Let me got let me open this thing up. It looks like we've got some tape on the back. So I'm gonna use my unboxing knife here, and we're gonna pop this open. So whoop, one quick slice there. And there we go for another one. So I can put this away. Now let's open this thing up. I'm actually really excited about this. Uh, you guys know me, I love bass. <laughs> so bass coming from Sennheiser, I'm interested. So let's see what we got. So when you open it up, you can see it's protected by this foam. So it's, the foam has a direct cutout for the actual headphone. So you guys can, I don't know if you guys can see it here cause it's all dark, but direct cutout with foam. And let's see what we've got. So here, first thing we're greeted with is a pouch. So this is the travel pouch that you're gonna be able to throw these into. I'm not gonna offer much protection, but probably protect it from scratches, stuff like that. Put that to the side. We of course have some paperwork. And uh, this is the Urbanite. And it seems like we've got some warranty information for the Urbanite and Urbanite XL. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> so Urbanite XL and stuff. Uh, let's see what else we've got. We've got a inline remote. Now this is a flat cable, so it's a flat tangle free cable. Uh, it has a pretty big remote. This is actually really surprising how big this is. So I guess it's gonna make it easier to just grab it and you know hit the controls. But yeah, that's the remote here. It has a mic in the back of course, play and pause, uh, volume up and down controls. So it's got some decent length to it, nothing too too large. Of course, this is made for portable use. It's gonna be used with your iPod, iPhone, stuff like that. That's where it's targeting. So it's not gonna be an extremely long cable. I'm a fan of cables this size. Nothing, not too much dangling when I have the, you know, my phone in my pocket and I'm listening to my headphones. All right, enough jabbering. Let's see the actual headphones themselves. Here we have it. So we can actually just kind of put this box to the side here. So now that we've got here sort of cleaned up, let's take a look. Okay. Actually, guys, this feels very, I like this. I like this a lot. It feels durable, very durable. Taking a look at the top, it feels like this is made out of the same material book bags are made out of. So it's got that tough feel, but under it where the actual padding is, feels really soft, very smooth. Uh, there's not a lot of padding in here, but it doesn't feel like it's going to be an issue. It is a very soft and smooth um, padding right here, even though it's not really padded. Now feeling the actual hinges itself and the parts that the ear cups are actually holding onto, it feels like it's made out of some kind of metal. Uh, it feels extremely solid, definitely really good stuff. So the tough material up top, metal on the sides, this feels like it's going to be a very durable pair of headphones. Uh, taking a look at the inside of the hinges, you've got this little band here that connects to the actual ear cups. So that looks pretty interesting as well. So far guys, I'm actually really impressed. The ear cup paddings feel pretty soft. It feels like it's made out of some kind of suede material. It does feel really nice in the hands. Taking a quick look at the bottom, you can see on the left ear cup is where you will put in your uh, cable. So you can just plug this in right here. And boom, this is the look of the headphones. So this is it. I can't wait to try these out. The ear cups feel pretty soft. 
Um, I don't think that's going to be an issue. It seems like it can rotate a bit, so uh, it can conform to your ear shapes. So definitely not bad. And pretty much, guys, that's it for this unboxing and first look. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm definitely going to have a review up, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to try and see if I can get a girlfriend test out of my girlfriend. And um, yeah, so till the next video, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think of what you see so far. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, be the cool guy that gives it a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel for more content from me. Till the next video, guys, it's your average consumer. Peace.